So that is the reason why we need another um, instance measure to take account into the, uh, the time information that each member of the cohort contribute. And the calculation of um, incidence rate is, well, seems simple, um, you know, based on that equation here. In the numerator, the number of new cases during a specified period of time um, goes, uh, which is basically the same as the incidence proportion. However, the calculation of denominator can be a bit complicated, which is defined as a total sum of the time each person was observed uh, without disease until one of the four endpoints. So for example, a person is followed up for 10 years without developing disease in a 10-year longitudinal study, then the person contributed 10 person years of observation. So that is the unit of the incidence rate, person years or person months or even person hours. So it depending upon um, uh, the, uh, the length of the study, basically. So the unit follows the length of the study. And on the other hand, if another person develops a disease at year five, then the person contributed five person years. So let's take a look at a um, sample question, how to calculate the um, incidence rate. So here is um, you know, question saying a cohort of 2100 uh, over 60 years old was enrolled in a study and followed up over four years to determine the incidence rate of um, AMD. So they were examined four times at each year end. So from the first year, there was no case, but 100 lost follow up. And in the second year examination, there was a one new case of AMD. And there was another 99 lost to follow up. And in third year examination, Seven, there were seven new cases and another 793 lost to follow up. And at the uh, um, year, um, the study end, the fourth year examination, they found eight extra new cases of AMD and another 392 more lost to follow up. So, um, because it is much easier to calculate the uh, numerator. And so let's just calculate the numerator, which is just the number of new cases of AMD um, over the, um, the study period, the follow-up period. So as you can see, you can just add all the new cases uh, from, you know, across all four years. So that's zero plus one plus seven plus eight becomes 16. So 16 will go to the numerator, but the calculation of denominator will become quite um, convoluted. Okay, so the denominator is basically the, uh, the sum of the person year observation. So let's just start with uh, the first year. So we do not have a case of AMD, right? So there's no uh, contribution and loss to follow up. We had 100 uh, loss to follow up, right? So 100, but because we do not know exactly when these people are lost to follow up, so we're going to just uh, assume so as a con uh, conservative guess be just a um, kind of way of imputation. So they're going to just contribute half a year, right? So this is going to by convention, you know, how people impute the data. So that's 50 years. Okay. And then healthy people is you have to actually take away 100 because you have 100 laws to follow up. 
and there's 2,000, right? So they all contributed a year, right, uh, without the disease. So total will become, you just add all these together, it will become 2050 uh, for the first year. So the total um, person year observation for the first year is a 2050 person years. Got it? Okay, so now we're going to just move on to the second year. Okay, so that's what we just calculated, right? So 2050. And um, we have one case, right? And because we do not know um, when this person actually got the disease, again, so we're going to multiply 0.5. So this person contributed 0.5 year, half a year. And then there's another 99 lost follow-up. Oops. Um, I mean, it's all there, but I'm just um, trying to show you how I calculate this. Okay, so that's um, 9.5. And now we are left with... And 2,000 minus 1 minus 99. So that's another 100, right? So we have one case in 99 lost follow-up. So that's 1,900. We add all these. 0 0.5, 49.5, 1,900. So that's 50. 1900 that's the 1950 okay yes that's what we have and now i think you uh, get the hang of it so i'll just move on to the next year and then now we got to the final year right and now you're going to have to add all these subtotals, and which are these. So the, if you add these two, that's 4,000, and this is 2,400. So 4,000 plus 2,400 will become 6,400, right? So let's just to finalize the calculation. Um, the numerator, we already calculate the um, numerator, which is just the number of new cases of AMD. And we had 16 cases. And the denominator is a person year observation. And I just calculated 6,400 person years. So um, it goes so 16 over 6,400 person years. So it's either 0 0.0025 cases per person years, or I mean I prefer this um, um, notation um, to this uh, decimal notation, right? So you want to make it like a whole number, 25 cases per 10,000 person years. So um, whichever you um, uh, report the incidence rate is fine, but personally, I prefer this um, letter one.